Welcome to the round of Amaria here at the beautiful Port Skyline Circuit, the uh, island nation of Amaria. Uh, the race has been marred, though, with a very heavy accident by Nathan McCain, as you can see right here. Uh, brakes would lock out on him, and ooh, that was a nasty hit. McCain has not been cleared to race as he uh, reportedly blacked out. He feels like he can race, however, Arxo won't let him. And uh, Kenny Myatt, the test driver for that team and team principal, We'll be making his uh, comeback, an early comeback. Uh, we knew he was going to run in the American 700, but uh, he will be in the 9 rather than the 1 car. Uh, they were expecting him to actually roll out the 1. However, they said the team is 9, so we're going to keep it 9. And the test car is 1. Uh, just one more news item. Uh, apparently after this race, they ARCSA will announce who will take the 41st and 42nd slots on the grid. Uh, we're not exactly sure, but apparently there are two buyers in the running for it. Anyway, let's go to the race! DJ Curtis leads on the start here at Ports going. No standing start because the promoters uh, didn't want it. And uh, here we go, down to turn number one here. This is a really uh, quick start by DJ Curtis over Myatt's looking down low for the lead. Myatt's, of course, in for McCain. This field is packed. I'm expecting some calamity down there. In uh, turn four, as they call it. Turn four is a little monster we've seen in the past. However, pretty much everybody... Oh, my, it went off a little bit there. However, he's able to keep it back on the road. Oh, but there goes Shoutrot. Baskinger and Galligan wide. And somebody else went off there as well. Not exactly sure who, but... That would be Finn guy went off as well. So these guys were some of the fastest cars in the final practice. I know Galligan was one of them. And uh, they need to catch up now. They're going to be a long way back. It looks like uh, Collard and Washer got a big wreck there as well. But DJ Curtis leads over to Silva, Armour and Myatt. Fifth place is Jordan Davis. Sixth is uh, J James Silverfox. And seventh is Charlie Fabrosis, who's been... Uh, well, I've performed by uh, Myatt all weekend. Myatt has never lost at this track. He, no one has ever beaten him whenever he's raced here. In all two attempts, pre previous attempts, he won both of them. And Myatt's all over the back of Armour Mueller. De Silva and Curtis, though, are getting away. An accident for Tamar Delise as uh, he would get wrecked by Charles Samper. And around, he would go into the wall over there. Uh, so, tough break for Tamar Delise. John Harple and Will Lewis would make contact coming out of the corner and around we go Harple into the grass and then further up the track actually we'd see the uh, 42 and uh, 43 and James Collar or James Tyson Jason Tyson go off and Joshua Collard would spin in kind of avoidance so uh, Collard went off as Jay Stella is not in this race Washer has damage from somewhere uh However, the race continues on, as uh, this should be a very uh, different race, as uh, DJ Curtis leads over uh, De Silva, who is closing in. Myatt is the three-time Arksaw uh, champion, and uh, up there we have Michael Ammermuller, who is the three-time German touring car champion. This should be interesting to see if uh, Myatt can really close in. Myatt knows this car very well, even though he hasn't driven it in a race before. He is their test driver. And these four are relatively close to each other, so this could be a very close race towards the end of it. And knowing Myatt's love for this track, uh, I wouldn't count any of these four out, especially Myatt, who, like I said, has never lost at this track before. Will Lewis and Zachary Fitzwater would take a pretty... Uh, Interesting ride way up the track. There goes Finn Guy. Oh, man. Finn Guy hit the bullseye right there and went off. And uh, Thanos also went off to avoid, I think. Uh, so, a tough break for some of these uh, guys and Thanos in this wreck as uh, here they come up to the. Thanos comes up to the scene. Uh, just. Oh, actually went wide there and clipped. So, uh, clipped the 43. So, tough break. Cody Lamas would have to make an unscheduled pit stop. 20th position, so uh, Lamas having a uh, very difficult race, had a tire going down. Tough break for Lamas, but uh, who knows with this race, he might still get points because there is quite a few cars out, and uh, Finn Guy is relatively slow as well. 
as we go a little further back. Curtis still leads. DJ Curtis is on point for possibly a win here. However, uh, like I said, it's still in the infancy this race is. Uh, 130 miles, or roughly 130. That's what all road course races, with the exception of Road America, are going to be kind of based off of. So uh, we should see if that's going to um, affect the... Because this race probably, more than any other, got extended the longest, because this one was always one of the shorter races. Amr Mueller's making a move now on uh, Leonardo da Silva, and Myatt's also lurking kind of back there. Uh, Myatt's getting very aggressive. It's looking like he wants that position. However, Myatt wisely backs out of that. And Amr Mueller's all over the back there as uh, Curtis is going to come up to lap Collard. And up and over the hill, coming down the hill now. Uh, we can see Amr Mueller is faster than the uh, 25 car, so expect some pretty uh, interesting racing as uh, Curtis is now making a move on Collard. Joseph or on Collard down there, so as you can see, uh, Jay Stella is not with the team, surprising, or not really surprisingly enough, but doesn't look like Collard is going to make it too easy though on Curtis as uh, Curtis lost a ton of time there, and if uh, De Silva Aubrey Mueller and Maya can get by cleanly. Uh, that could be a very interesting thing, but Collard isn't making life easy on De Silva either. So this could be very interesting as De Silva's passing on the outside there. And Aubrey Mueller is going to the inside. So this is being very uh, close and interesting. Maya's looking like he's going to be held up a little bit there. But uh, he'll use the Discover Ohio Honda Power to get by. John Galligan coming up to the scene here. Uh, one of the drivers, they've caught this pack. However, uh, Jessica Shell really wouldn't be paying any attention. And Galligan would go way off the road. And uh, Shelton and Bo or Shelton really didn't look very smart there. But Galligan would get kind of beached and uh, needs help getting out of the sand. Wyatt's now closing in on Armour Mueller. This is a very close battle. It's quite interesting to see that the leaders are all within, like, seemingly a second and a half of each other. Curtis is coming in. I asked this Armour Mueller, Wyatt, and uh, De Silva stay out. So this could be a very interesting strategy call. As De Silva and Wyatt are looking like they're going to roll the dice and go an extra lap. As uh, Curtis and them do pit. Curtis and Amr Mueller do. They're the only ones except for some of the back markers to pit. Uh, Perkley's. Uh, Shawrock came in, who really shouldn't be a back marker. Got, got taken out in that mess. Demax, who was really quick in practice. Surprised to see him this far back. Duncan, and it looks like one of the uh, squad or zonies are coming in. That's Omega. The Amarian driver in his home grum, or in his home race. Mayan and, this, Mayan and De Silva, however, and pretty much all the rest of the leaders are still out there. Uh, we're going to see if this is a better play, though. Myatt and uh, Leonardo Da Silva. Da Silva still looking for his first ever win. There's no Brazilian round on the schedule this season. However, there are talks of one, as well as a possible Argentinian round uh, for next season. Uh, one would be on the streets of Buenos Aires, which could be a very interesting uh, race indeed. So uh, it looks like De Silva is going to have to deal with Collard. Or, I'm sorry, that would be uh, not Collard, but Tyson. And would actually get held up a little bit there. Myatt, I don't think, is going to be all that difficult. To... Actually, Myatt's going to get by Tyson rather easily. Oh, maybe not. They both get held up, but here they both come down pit road. So De Silva and it had a little bit of a slow up there, but we're going to have to see if... Uh, oh, somebody's staying... Oh, that's Collard staying out. Uh, he's, of course, a lap down. Now it's time to see if that was smart of the Red Bull and Mercedes United Brigade. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Whoa! Oh, that's Finn guy. Yeah, I thought that was for a second uh, another one car. And we're going to see... Discover Ohio and them are working on their, and Toyota are working on their cars. Here they come out of the pits. 
And I think I see them in the background. By a mile, De Silva beats them. By a mile. Curtis and them lost a ton of time there. And De Silva's got a pretty big lead. Three wide coming out of the pits aren't really a smart idea. And uh, Saber, Angel, and Vincent Allen would learn that as uh, Saber would go around coming out of the pits. Uh, not exactly the smartest thing I've ever seen, but, well, good to see uh, nobody really got some serious damage. Saber got the worst of that by just spinning around and probably will need to come in for another set of tires. So De Silva's opened up the largest lead we've seen today over Myatt, and Jordan Davis is all over the back of him. And here's DJ Curtis and Amr Mueller. Jordan Davis had a really good pit stop, and, uh, got him into the mix, as if they close in on De Silva, this could be an epic battle for the win coming up here, but De Silva's got a pretty big lead, and uh, well, if they keep battling back there, so it looks like Armour Mueller's trying to make a move here on DJ Curtis, however, it's really not paying out very much there. Myatt, though, is uh, looking pretty strong. However, Jordan Davis is all over the back of Kenny Myatt as they run down the hill. This is one of the close. This is probably the closest we've seen these guys all season. Uh, the pack, ra the racing here, as uh, Davis is looking really intently. Although we kind of saw this at um, Sebring, Road Atlanta was a crapshoot anyway. But Jordan Davis is proving. Oh, look at that! Curtis way on the inside of Davis takes an opportunistic advantage of uh, Myatt holding him up a little bit there and uh, makes the move, but Davis is fighting back. This is excellent racing we're seeing here, and it looks like Dave, or Curtis is going to get on the outside of the corner and take the position. Kind of what they need to do, though. If they want a chance to win, they wouldn't be battling that hard, but further back, it looks like uh, Vernier and uh, Fibrosis are battling, and it looks like... Uh, Ommermuller is trying to make a move there on the 86. And it looks like my is getting challenged from Curtis. So this is excellent racing here out of Port Skyline. And I think they're actually reeling in De Silva. Myatt, however, holds the position. I think these guys really shouldn't be battling this hard because somebody's going to get... And this is, could end up in tears down here. And I uh, can see Curtis either has uh, telepathy of what I'm saying or wisely backed out of it because of fear of wrecking. Further back, we got Fabrosis and Vernier. Vernier goes off. This is not good for Curtis, for Shelly. Whoa, that was close. But Vernier keeps a hold of it. Good to see Vernier, uh, Vernier actually uh, being smart there. And uh, had excellent car control as there's Curtis trying to make a move on Myatt now. Sounds like somebody's uh, having some mechanical problems. That's Washer. And uh, as they rise over the hill, there as uh, Myatt once again holds off the position. DJ Curtis and Kenny Myatt would get really close and Myatt gets turned! Myatt's around! Oh no! Well, I think that just ended Myatt's chance for going for a... Uh, three times in a row here, but oh, Maya can't be happy as he motors down the pylon there. Maya is not happy. Maya really isn't happy about that. And he is back down with Nelson and Perkles. That's for, but he should be in 12th, it looks like. DJ Curtis just gave no regard for what was happening, and uh, well, I think took out possibly one of the best ever. And it looks like uh, De Silva's trying to make a move here on Washer and cleanly gets it. No, oh, maybe not cleanly, but. Oh, that's going to really hurt De Silva. De Silva's sliding all over the track. And Curtis is closing in now, but he's got to get by Washer, who, uh, well, DJ Curtis has already wrecked somebody who's been blocking him, and now, uh, well, handles that with more grace than he did with Mayan. Charrot would be battling with James Tyson, but Charrot would lose control, and they'd both fly off the track, and both would go out. Charrot and Tyson would go out. 
So, uh, tough break there for both of them as uh, the field has to continue onwards. But Kenny Maya, we hear, is not happy. And Discover Ohio is marching to the stewards to get Curtis uh, some sort of penalty. There are investigating that incident. And Maya cannot be happy there. But Maya is way faster than these cars back here. Those Randmos were fast early on. However, uh, they haven't been looking that strong lately. Hercules is, or that's uh, Matt Duncan's making a move now. And uh, Duncan had to back off because quite honestly, he's noticing that Myatt is absolutely insane. And was right now making a move on Tedford. DJ Curtis is looking to set up the 25 now as they rocket down towards the first corner here again. Curtis is looking strong, and maybe he's going to take the lead now, but Jordan Davis is looking as well. This is excellent racing out of Port Skyline. This could end in tears, though, in turn four. I would not want to keep this up. Here they go, rocketing down to the gauntlet. Great racing. Curtis slides a bit. Contact was made. The Silva's still there. It looks like Davis is taking a look now. Albert Mueller's just sitting back, hoping that he doesn't get wrecked out of it. Who's in fifth? Fifth place might be... Oh, there's a big battle for fifth, too. Here they go. Down the straightaway. Curtis and De Silva. This is insane racing out of this track. Here we go. Davis is looking on the outside. De Silva's look... Oh, but Davis had to slide a bit. No paint grip out there. There's no grip on the paint. And De Silva has to slide into third as Davis gets second. Obermuller looked for third, maybe. Davis is going for the lead now. Oh, my goodness. What a race. But Curtis looks like he's going to hold it. What a fantastic race out of here. However, DJ Curtis may be having a penalty soon. Who knows? But I believe they are very upset with the way uh, Curtis handled the whole Myatt situation. Through the chicane they come. Looks like Jordan Davis is looking to maybe set up Curtis now. By using the draft, he looks low. I'm thinking that might have been the other... Uh... Never mind. Menervini on pit road, but... Davis is looking. Jordan Davis, the winner at Road Atlanta. However, it looks like everyone is going with Curtis. However, Jordan Davis has the advantage on the inside. Curtis holds the outside line. Contact was made. Davis slides off, slides back on. Contact, oh man, no, no. Oh man, what a close race and Davis is still in it. Oh my goodness. What a showing! And it looks like De Silva's gonna try and take second away! My goodness! De Silva and Davis or Curtis slides! Davis has to slide into the into the paint out there! What a race! You don't wanna I can't even sit down how awesome this is! Davis looks like he's gonna try and hold second. However, De Silva gets a better run. Curtis is loving what he's seeing behind him. Further back, Fernier and uh, Fabrosis have been battling quite hard. But holy gosh, this is an awesome race. Davis looks to the inside now. Rockets over the little bump there. However, this is going to be very aggressive. Contact! Oh! Curtis has to pit. Oh, Davis and De Silva are giving swipes at each other. Oliver Mueller and Curtis are on pit road. They took a swipe at each other. De Silva and Davis did. Oh, man. What a race. I can't, I'm speechless. They're coming up to the uh, Paul Athenos Greek driver. De Silva has the lead, but Davis is looking. Davis outbreaks him entering the corner. However, Davis has to slide a little wide. More contact made. Oh, Davis had to go off. It slides back on, but it looks like De Silva's going to hold a position. 
De Silva and Davis and Fabrosis, who uh, Fabrosis and uh, Shelly are catching up. And pretty much everybody's pitting. Where is seven of Curtis? That's the eight, wrong card. The seven of Curtis is with Almer Mueller and the two Arkansas Americas who haven't pitted yet. So here they come. These two, Almer Mueller and Davis. This race has been clearly one of the best I've ever seen so far. And here they come down the straightaway. They've got the speed. However, do they have the position? Not even close. Almer Mueller's going for Curtis. However, De Silva's got a big lead. There's Fernier in second. Oh, wow, slow pit stop for... Oh, no, did something happen to Jordan Davis? Oh, Jordan Davis stayed out again. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't see that, but Jordan Davis is out again. Looks like he's going to try and gain some time back, but it's De Silva, De Silva, Vernier, and uh, then it's Armour Mueller with uh, Curtis back there. I wouldn't be battling him if I were you, Aunt Michael. Uh, you're gonna wanna catch up there and give us some of that awesome battling again. But here comes the 86 down pit road. He maybe stayed out a little bit long there. But I am looking. De Silva's a long way back though. A long way back. And after the pit cycle, it's quite clear Jordan Davis has a big lead over Vernier and all out DJ Curtis is still the fastest car on track or one of them right now and is trying to get by Vernier in third Vernier in third and quite easily the two uh, European touring car drivers now are gonna oh no maybe not looks like Vernier is holding up a fight with Curtis however the battle for the lead is not exactly as heated as it was with uh big lead to Jordan Davis. You maybe saw him there in the background, but Vernier is going to have to succeed to Curtis. And now the two uh, European touring car drivers are going to have to fight. Three wide coming out of the first corner here with the two uh, Thunders and uh, Zayden Davidson. Wow, some racing out of this track. And there's, I think, Luvier or Tedford. That's Lou, or Tedford back there. This is for us. Uh, well, some of the lower positions. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Perkles got damaged, and so did uh, Matt Duncan, his teammate. But oh man, well, the, some of this close racing that we've been seeing has been causing a lot of wreck. DJ Curtis now is catching Leonardo da Silva as uh, Jordan Davis is seemingly pulling away right now. However, uh, this could be a very interesting uh, race here as da Silva is right now rather slow out there as uh, we'll have to see what kind of lap Davis pulls here. Davis is also looking pretty good on pit strategy too, but here they go. Davis with a 148 and he was faster than Davis that time, but looks like Curtis is trying to get by De Silva for second. Not exactly sure if that's going to be a wise move by Curtis, but there is plenty of time left. Here comes DJ Curtis and Louis Leonardo da Silva. Curtis will get the position, however, Curtis slides off, slides back up onto the track in contact with da Silva, and now Armour is looking to get by da Silva. However, da Silva's still not giving up yet. However, you can't really doing this that much because Jordan Davis has a pretty big lead now. And De Silva's fighting back, so apparently uh, they don't care what the leader gets away. They're just busy trying to paddle each other. And with the help from the draft, it looks like Curtis is going to be a sitting duck and fall back to fourth now. Or at least lose second. Uh, Auburn Mueller backed off a bit there. And are they still catching Gordon Davis? I'm not sure. Curtis dives now on De Silva trying to get the position back. this corner, or through the chicane, however, and uh, De Silva's going to hold the position. 
Well, the three are back battling again. Curtis is looking to the inside of De Silva now. And there's Armour Mueller back there. And they are actually closing in a bit on, DJ, on Jordan Davis. Uh, Davis gained a little bit there, but Davis is maybe reporting a mechanical problem. And oh, Curtis has to slide off there. Keeps his foot in it, but is going to lose third. And Vernier is actually closing in on this pack. Kyle Collins is getting well out of the way. Let them go by. Kyle Collins has a tire going down. Let's the leaders go by and continue their battle as it looks like Armour Mueller is going for second. However, I'm not sure if I'd do it there as you have to pretty much back out of it there. But uh, Jordan Davis looks like he's going to get away here. And here comes De Silva by quite some margin by the looks of it. Vernier actually got third away, well, third away from Frosis because uh, uh, Amber Mueller and Curtis coming down pit road. De Silva, Vernier, Frosis pit. Davis stays out though. Jordan Davis is on this, of course, pretty big pit strategy. The longer you stay out, the better I've seen it. So Davis should be able to get even more time here. Uh, looking in front of him, he does have a pretty slow to max. He got damaged somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. And that doesn't help either. He might have to deal with him. But he's on some of his fastest laps yet, Davis is. Here comes to Silva. A few of these other guys off the pits. De Silva, Fabrosis, Vernier. And there's Armour Mueller way back there. What happened to DJ Curtis? DJ Curtis had a really slow pit stop and is way down the order. So DJ Curtis's race looks pretty much over for a win. But we'll have to see if it was a pit stop or if he went off. Jeffrey Finguy stays out again on fuel. Uh, apparently he can make it a lot longer than people think. Thanos has a mechanical problem, but he is going to be coming up to some pretty slow cars. His teammates coming out of the pits, but you've got Demax, Ryusu, Pericles, and Omega. I would be staying out if I was uh, that crew. However, uh, they seem to be very uh, dead set on it, uh, especially with the battles that are in front of them. Uh, there's uh, Ryusu. That's a close call there. The Oricom. Really not one of the more homely cars in the field, the uh, Oricom. Hercules is with Omega. Jordan Davis stays out again. Being absolutely crazy. Now he's in the pack. Vernier is in second. Which is very interesting to see because he passed to Silva from Brosis now is in the battle for second. However, this pack is the one with Jordan Davis in it. I would not be too careful if I was Jordan Davis. Jordan Davis goes way off the track. Oh, that's a really dangerous move. Jordan Davis has to back out of this. He's realizing it. He shouldn't be in this pack, but he's got to get through it or else he could lose a ton of positions. He's backed up in heavy, heavy traffic. Where is Vernier? They're at the start-finish line. They're almost a half a track behind. At this rate, I still think Davis would, might have the lead. I would not keep this up, though, if I was Jordan Davis. I'd back out of this pack and just cut my losses. Contact with Perkles. However, this is absolutely insane, I think. Look at this mess. They're having a, they're having their own race, and Jordan Davis is in it. These damaged cars are. This is actually, I think, for the final point spot. No, it isn't, actually. If It will be the final point spot if uh, something happens to somebody else in the points oh three wide that's a really oh oh man oh no Jordan Davis from the lead oh no I was warning about that and he beached it it looks like oh no no Jordan Davis getting a toe back. Here they come down the hill. He makes contact and forces Omega into the 33 and around they all go. Ugh. 
They couldn't put any blame except himself on that one. That was all his fault. He shouldn't have been doing that. Meanwhile, this is going to put Vernier in the lead. DJ Curtis and uh, James Shelley would be taking a very vicious wreck there. And oh, man, I'm not sure. Oh, that looked bad. We are unsure of the meta. Oh, man, that looked really bad with uh, James Shelley. We are unsure of the medical condition of James Shelley. He was communicating with the with the medical staff. And ooh, just a bad wreck there. DJ Curtis and James Shelley. They were in the points of that battle that Curtis was, or that fit, that Davis was in, would come out to be points, but bad wreck. Well, here's the new leader, Nicholas Vernier. He's battling with Leonardo da Silva, his teammate, and Kyle Collins is also there. But uh, looks like Vernier is having a very good run. But Vernier slides wide. He's going to come back on the track right into his teammate. Oh, no. And oof, another leader taken out. My lap traffic. That time I'm going to blame Collins for that one. That was all on Collins, but that's going to put Fabrosis in the lead. So this is like the eighth different leader in this race. What a nutcase race this has been. I can't believe it. Auburn Mueller, though, is looking for the lead. De Silva's back there as well. Is that DJ Curtis? Is that Jordan Davis coming out of the pits? Is he on the lead lap? No, he isn't. Jordan Davis is a lap down, but I was going to say, if he wrecked, it still is this far up. That's an impressive showing, but... Oh, man. Here comes Omar Mueller making a move on Charlie Fabrosis. Oh, boy, this couldn't be good. This might not end well. Omar Mueller's off. Slides up onto the track. And they wreck each other! <laughs> So Leonardo da Silva survives! Almer Mueller and Fabrosis wreck. There's. Ali Nelson might get second out of this! Oh man! What a race! This race has been seriously what. Oh, now there's the slow Jordan Davis in this. Oh man, this pack doesn't look good. <laughs> Pierre's also in it. This is for podium spots. But De Silva, I think all De Silva's got to do is just calmly walk at home and he's got this. It's pretty much everybody's wrecked. Looks like Allie Nelson's in third, or going for third now. Man, I never thought I'd see Allie Nelson this high up the order, but oh my. Gets by Fabrosis quite easily. It looks like Fabrosis' car is hurt from that. De Silva just has to get through some of this traffic, and he's got this win locked up. However, De Silva doesn't isn't very good on fuel, and Nelson is. So De Silva's got to save some gas. Bernier is out though, and Kyle Collins has got to be looking like an idiot for wrecking Bernier. Bernier. But Leonardo da Silva could be walking away with this. Michael Ommermuller still in P2 over Allie Nelson, Charlie Fabrosis, and Chris Louvier. Uh, Silver Fox is back there as well. Tedford, Davidson, Allen, and Sean Angel are your top 10. 11th position is Thaber. 12th is Shelton. 13th is Duncan. 14th is Boone. 15th is Baskinger. 16th is Myatt. And it looks like pit stops are already happening. Demax is, was in 17th, but that battle did turn into points. So, man, yeah, this race has been absolutely insane. And De Silva stays out again. He has to. Michael Allmermuller from second had to pit. And we're not sure if this is for damage repair or for what reason. However, uh, Allmermuller pitting, that's interesting to say the least. Looks like uh, Vernier was finally rolled back in, and their day is done. They finally got that car back, and Thanos hasn't left pit road, it looks like. Leonardo da Silva would pit, as would Allie Nelson, and pretty much everybody. Somebody wants to roll the dice and try. Maybe, but I'm looking, and I don't see anybody possibly willing to do it. I think they just kind of want this race to end, in all honesty. 
Although De Silva's having a slow pit stop, however, De Silva goes. There's Jordan Davis. He was, uh, of course, a lap down. Of course, in the lead battle early on. Then got taken out. He had the race locked up and got taken out. But man, what a race this has been. It looks like it's going to end under a less or the results won't show how awesome a race this was, but this has got to be, in the history books, one of the greatest Arksaw Elite Series races ever, if not the best. My God, what a race. James Silverfox has actually jumped his way, I think, up to... No, actually, Louvier's up to third over Allie Nelson in second. Uh, the big loser on that was uh, Armour Mueller's down to, like, eighth. So, crazy racing here out of... Uh, Skyline. It looks like uh, they're having some fun in the back. Uh, that's Myatt and uh, Thaber are having a pretty close battle. This is for position, obviously. But uh, Myatt is one of the faster cars still on the track. Myatt slides off, slides back up, and Thaber tries to take the positions. So, now that the race is calming down a little bit, I'm out of breath. What a fantastic race this has been. Vincent Allen from P9 would blow his gearbox and uh, actually caused a mini fire in that car. And I'd bail out of that one there. Or it's not a fire, it's smoke, but I'd bail out of it. That's not good. But Vincent Allen from ninth position would fall out of uh, the round here of Amaria. All Leonardo da Silva needs to do now is to get through the lap traffic. I think he might be clear the rest of the way. He might have some issues with Ryusu coming up, and if another wreck happens, but pretty much da Silva's clear sailing. Second place is Ali Nelson, who's actually closing in on da Silva. However, da Silva's got a pretty uh, large lead, and uh, I'm thinking Nelson much of a threat as uh, Louvier. I never thought I'd see the day where Chris Louvier would be in third, but he is. And uh, I was getting some held up there. Uh, Nelson is quick, though. 147 compared to a 148, almost a second quicker. I'll do the math and see if she can possibly catch if she can get by these lap cars cleanly. Leonardo da Silva has two laps to go, and Allie Nelson lost time on that because she had to deal with lap cars, so I'm thinking... It's pretty much clear sailing for De Silva. Silver Fox is in fourth, getting a battle from Tedford, it looks like. So, Fabrosis and Davidson look like they're going to be battling for sixth, maybe. Davidson with a really quiet run in a race where he kind of had to have been quiet. Uh, looks like there's a battle with Tedford in the lap car of Collins, who hasn't been clean. There's some contact. Collins slides off, or Tedford slides off the road. Back up into Collins. Contact made. But, uh, keeps it going. However, the four-time Brazilian stock car champion would have relatively no opposition the rest of the way. Final few corners coming up here. Uh, wow, what a race. I gotta say, and he just set the fast, his fastest lap of the race. He was never really the fastest car of the race. Uh, that went to Myatt, I believe, was the fastest. But so many different storylines how to win a race like this. Brazilian stock cars are very similar to this kind of racing where you really don't have any uh, crazy uh, things, but so many different storylines, so many different leaders, the close racing. This has got to be the best Dark Soul Elite Series race I've ever seen. Final couple of corners now for Leonardo da Silva. Silva rockets through them, and the four-time Brazilian stock car champion is going to be a winner here in the Arkansas Elite Series as Leonardo da Silva wins the round of Amaria. I believe Ali Nelson's going to get second. Yes, Nelson closed in quite a lot, but still, uh, I don't think it's enough. Actually, Nelson just set the fit. Oh, no. Third place would be Luvier, and fourth place would be uh, Silver Fox. Fifth would be Tedford. Sixth, Zayden Davidson. Congratulations to him on getting a top ten. I never would have thought to see a pure Michigan up here. Seventh for Fabrosis. Eighth for Armour Ninth for Angel. Tenth for Duncan. Eleventh for Maya, it looks like, is going to come home in eleventh. Uh, he was down as low as 20th, so... Or 16th, rather. 17th, rather. 
Labor 12th, and looks like Shelton's going to get 13th. But anyway, Leonardo da Silva wins possibly the greatest race I've ever seen in the Arcel Elite Series. Let's go to the finishing results.